Okay, so I'm actually filming this little introduction again. This is the introduction to my layering video because I feel kind of bad, like I didn't give you guys like enough maybe like tips or advice on layering. I kind of just went into the video of what my favorite layering combinations were. Sorry. So I'm gonna kind of redo this opening a little bit and just kind of tell you guys a little bit more about layering. Honestly guys, I'm not a professional. I'm not a, I, I'm just a girl who collects perfume. So for me, it's not something that I feel like I am experienced with or I can really give you guys like, like definite pointers. I'm just kind of telling you guys my personal experience with layering. So, and this is kind of something that I've just, taught myself along the way and I feel like as I've kind of um, expanded in this hobby I guess you could say I really do recognize fragrances and I recognize notes and I feel like I'm pretty good and without sounding like an asshole right now I'm pretty good at knowing what fragrances will pair well together as I've kind of delved deeper into this hobby I just feel like I kind of am very aware of what will work and what won't work I feel bad that I can't tell you guys exactly how I do it because there's no real way that I do it I just use my nose of what I personally think will go together and a lot of the time for me it's quite successful so yeah like I said <clears throat> sorry like I said I'm sorry that I can't tell you guys that but just kind of be aware like look uh, like on Fragrantica I think it's quite a great website to kind of familiarize yourself with what notes um, a lot of perfumers pair together all the time like you see a lot of rose oud combinations you see a lot of vanilla and wood combinations that's at least in my opinion you see a lot of uh, you know, white florals with, um, you know, some vanilla and amber in the base. Like you see things and you keep seeing them repeat themselves. I'm a lot more aware now of my fragrances. So for me, I hardly like mix two together and it will smell bad. Like that does not happen for me. Usually maybe it won't smell amazing, but a lot of the time it will smell quite good. So I just wanted to quickly say that like I wanted to redo the introduction because I did feel kind of bad that I didn't give you guys enough info, but there wasn't really much that I could tell you to like how to layer. Like there's no way to really tell you. It's just knowing fragrances, getting to know them. Um, and it's more like that. It's more just, yeah, familiarizing yourself with perfume and what you feel personally would go well together. And I've been lucky enough that a lot of the kind of fragrances that I've mixed just work really well. There's definitely fragrances that I would never mix together or I would never mix a certain fragrance because it's just too strong or it's just too, it's just too much of a fragrance. Like for instance, um, Frederick Marle superstitious like I probably wouldn't layer anything with that fragrance because it's just so big and so strong on its own that I think it would just be too much if I was to mix with that so there's just there's a lot of things like for me that it just comes with experience and I hate saying that because it sounds such like a pricky sort of thing to say but it does kind of come with the experience layering and all of that sort of stuff so just kind of test it out for yourself in your own collection I hope that you enjoy the video anyways and I'll jump into showing you guys like what my little layering combinations are so I have seven combinations uh, a few of them I spoke about in my layering my my perfume hacks video sorry but I'm gonna show you guys what my ultimate favorite layering combination is at the moment I am obsessed with layering these two together like obsessed like I'm not even exaggerating the fragrances that I have here that I love layering together is Mikalef's Ylang and Amouage Sunshine Amouage Sunshine to me smells like apricot pastries it smells like apricots it smells like sunshine it's a little bit powdery it's just divine. And Ylang from Mikalef smells like vanilla. It smells a little bit coconutty, like a tiny, tiny bit. But it smells to me a little bit like a fuzzy peach. Like there's this kind of soft fruitiness to it. And together, this is the most beautiful, sunny, sweet, delicious, apricotty divine fragrance that I've ever smelled like you imagine a girl in a yellow sundress and this is what she's wearing she smells like happiness and sunshine these two fragrances together literally smell like happiness if the sun had a smell it would be these two perfumes laid together so Ylang from Mikalef and Amor Sunshine guys if you have these both in your collection trust me right now <laughs> layer them together like layer these two fragrances together put on and watch sunshine first because it's stronger and then layer over the top with Mikalef's Ylang and you are going to thank me this is the most beautiful like I said happy smell that I've smelled in my life 
okie dokie. So my next combination, I've been wearing this one constantly. And when I say constantly, you're going to be able to see from the bottles. These two are probably one of my favorite combinations that I've ever created in my life. And I don't say that lightly. Same with the Sunshine and Elang. These two babies. So here I have Christian Dior's Gris Dior. You can see I've used that one quite a lot. And this one is a new fragrance from Parfums Vintage. This was in my 2019 favorite, uh, my favorites for 2019 so far. Look at that, guys. Like, I am obsessed with these two separately, but together. They make the most magical fragrance ever. <laughs> I sound like such a loser right now, but these two together smell insane. And I would not say this if I did not mean it. This combination, I've been wearing it constantly and I am getting so many compliments whenever I leave the house with this on, with these two fragrances together on, I'm getting so many compliments. So Greedior is like a watery rose patchouli, a little bit powdery oak moss. It's just beautiful. Like, it's just beautiful. And then uh, this is Parfums Vintage Imbue. So this is a newer one from Parfums Vintage and it's easily my favorite from Parfums Vintage, at least my personal favorite that I like to wear. It's called Imbue and it's supposed to be a take on uh, Gucci Port On 2. So it smells like green tea, a little bit like cinnamon. It's kind of fresh. It's just insanely good. Like, I actually cannot uh, express my love for this fragrance enough. But together, together, they smell even better. Like, these two are a match made in heaven. And like I said, I've been getting so many compliments that it's absolutely ridiculous. But I love it. I love them together and I can't stop. I can't stop. I won't stop. And I'm absolutely in love. So Greedy Dior from Christian Dior with Parfums Vintage Imbue. You can literally see, like, I am digging through these bad boys because I love it so much. Okay, so I mentioned this one in my, um, uh, I keep saying layering video, my um, hacks video. These two together, like I said, are a match made in heaven. This is Angel Moose from Mugler. Uh, it smells like powdered Nutella, like nuts, powdered Nutella, chocolate smells like all that good stuff and this one smells like a syrupy vanilla like the most sweet delicious marshmallow syrup vanilla that I've ever smelled this is Mazzolari Vaniglia together you can imagine it literally just smells like drippy drippy vanilla and caramel with chocolate and hazelnut and Nutella like how much more delicious do you want to get and do you want to smell like if you legit want to smell like a dessert wear these two together like that's it that's all I have to say done <laughs> okay so I also mentioned I'll just quickly run through them I also mentioned um, this combination here this is Serge Luton's Umbois Vanille it's a woody vanilla a little bit of licorice a little bit of coconut and then I love mixing it with Chanel's Sycamore which is a piney uh, foresty pine foresty woody vetiver fragrance a little bit of a freshness let me re-smell yeah, a little bit spicy as well, but together they just smell so good. Like they smell intoxicating when layered together. So love that combination. I haven't worn it for a while because I wore it a lot more in the fall and winter. But yeah, beautiful combination. I would love to smell that on a guy as well, especially. Again, talked about this combination. Alien from Mugler, Jasmine, Amber, very intoxicating, very mysterious, very amazing. Love mixing it with Nazamato's Narcotic V, which is a raw tuberose and lily kind of scent with some spice. Together, they smell, I've said it before, they literally smell like pure sex together. Like this is like a come here and take me sort of vibe. Okay, and then the final two combinations that I have, I didn't talk about these two. Um, the first one is these two babies. Now, these are both beautiful orange blossom scents, but they're very different to each other, but they are absolutely stunning when layered together. Like, this layered together, my god, is this femininity beauty. It's just insanely good. This is Parfum de Mali Safinade. You guys can see again, I've worn quite a lot of Safinade. Beautiful fragrance, orange blossoms, vanilla, I'm pretty sure there's amber. It smells like orchid as well, like, it smells like there's like a pink orchid in here as well. 
but it's syrupy. It smells a little bit like marshmallows, like the dust that comes off of the marshmallows, like, and you smell your hand. That That's kind of what this fragrance smells like, and I am absolutely in love with it, especially for, like, the summertime, because I feel like this fragrance really works well on warm skin, and so does this fragrance. And together, they smell amazing. Memo Paris Granada smells like jasmine, orange blossom, and syrup, like a syrupy vanilla amber sort of thing going on. And together... They just smell so, so good. Like together, these are a killer combination. If you want to make men drool and fall to their knees, this is what I would recommend you wearing. Or the Alien and the Narcotic V, but this is this is beautiful, especially for the summertime. And then my final combination are two Tom Fords that I like to layer together. We have Tom Ford Noir Pour Femme and Tom Ford Tobacco Vanille. Uh, Noir Pour Femme is ambery, spicy, uh, like kind of oriental, that sort of vibe. And Tobacco Vanille is sweet, vanilla, uh, a little bit powdery, cacao. It's just gorgeous. But together they smell really, really, really good together. Like they smell really good together. So this is more of a newer combination that I've been trying out, but I really do love it. So yes that is it you guys that was my little video on my layering but if i had to recommend like two layering combinations that are like my ultimate favorite it is the amouage sunshine and the elang like i said literally smells like happiness like happiness that's what it smells like and then i would also recommend these two babies together i feel like this one would be an amazing combination on a man as well I personally wear it every day and I absolutely love it, but I feel like this one would also smell great on a guy. So there we have it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I'm sorry if it seemed like I didn't bother including any other ones, but the video would be ridiculously long if I showed you guys every single combination. These were definitely like my top like favorite combinations. If I had to show you guys like just a few that I love combining, these are definitely them. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it. Leave all of your video requests down below. Also, uh, I always get asked about my lip color, so I'll link that down below as well. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye.